from left, Alex Livanelli, Tino Cerda and Mabel Cadena during an appearance on Despierta America in Florida. Photo, John Potter slash Giddy Images. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is the first Marvel movie with several top build Latino characters, prompting excitement in Latin America and beyond. Why it matters, until Black Panther, every movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe was led by a white man, according to an Axios analysis. Overall, Latino characters represent only 5% of Hollywood roles on average since 2007, according to the most recent data from USC Annenberg's Inclusion Initiative. Details Mexican, Venezuelan and Guatemalan actors are among the leads in the new Black Panther movie. It also has major set pieces inspired by Mesoamerican mythologies, and its soundtrack includes Mayan rappers. The big picture, fans say they're happy to see their indigenous roots represented. Others have said they were moved after Tino Cherda Mejia, the Mexican actor of indigenous roots who plays Namor, one of the lead characters, delivered a speech this summer dedicating the movie to Latin American fans. It's fantastic to be here and represent our heritage in this kind of movie, Q. Created in 1939, Namor, also known as the Submariner, was one of the first comic book characters. He made his debut in issue number one of Marvel Comics. The character's origins as a leader of Atlantis, the mythical underwater kingdom, have been slightly reworked for the movie, in which Atlantis is a hidden Mesoamerican realm called Talican, taking after the Aztecs' idea of the water-based paradise law. Yes, but, the character of Namor and his people have historically been antagonists in Black Panther comics, prompting criticism that the movie could negatively depict Latinos. Herda Mejia has said he hopes viewers will sympathize with his character, 